What is going on guys and welcome to my channel. I am the BA Tutor. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe because I do talk all things business analyst on the channel. So today we're going to be talking about some business analyst training. Okay, so obviously if you're watching this, you're interested in getting some training as a business analyst and you could be somebody that's a total beginner, somebody that has no experience, somebody that uh, is in a completely different career field and you want to make the transition over to a business analyst. Well, this is for you. This is going to help you out with that. So again, doesn't matter if you don't have any experience. It doesn't matter if you're in a completely different career field. This is going to be for those beginners who want to get that training. Now, here's the thing. If you want to get trained completely as a business analyst, there are so many components here that you would be here with me for hours, right? With the video. Um, so it's not going to be possible to cover all that. But what is going to be important is for you to know the steps to take. So those are the steps we need to talk about. So let's get started. So we're essentially going to start with two steps, which I'm going to break down into individual three steps and three steps for a total of six steps. Don't worry if you're confused, you will get it. It's very, very simple. Okay. So the first two steps are going to be the following. Number one, obtain knowledge. And number two, is going to be obtain experience, okay? So how do you become a business analyst? Well, you are going to have to obtain the knowledge to understand what a business analyst is, you know, what, what they do, why they do it, how they do it. So all of those things are going to be part of this obtaining the knowledge, right? You have to understand the role, what it comes with the role, um, you know, what are the different types of skill sets needed for that role. There's so many things here you need to obtain to become a BA and that's part of that is the training, right? So that's gonna be the knowledge portion. Number two is gonna be, okay, now that I know what it is, now I have to get the experience because again, you will want to be able to go into the role kind of knowing, again, what a business analyst is. And so how do you get that experience to kind of sell yourself, right, to companies to become a business analyst? So with that being said, these are the main two steps. And then now we break them down even more. So keep in mind, to do uh, and become a business analyst, you need to obtain the knowledge needed to become a BA, and then you need to obtain the experience needed to become a BA. Okay, and this is the order. You can't skip around, right? You got to do this before this. Now, when we're talking about obtaining knowledge, I alluded to this earlier, we've got the what, why, and how, okay? These are three important things you need to know, okay? So what is the what, okay? What a and I really should fix this, my apologies. What a BA does, okay? Why a BA does it and how a BA does it, okay? You have to understand these three concepts, right? What does a BA do? Okay, after you understand that, why does the BA do that? Okay, after you understand that, okay, now I don't need to know how a BA does it. Okay, so these three things are going to be the crucial questions you will need to know. Again, there's a lot more here. So let's actually erase this and answer these questions, and then we'll get back to the second part here. Okay, so when we're talking about the what, right, what does a BA do? Well, a BA essentially does a lot of things, but their main role is going to be requirements, documentation, okay? So writing requirements. You could either say writing requirements or requirements documentation. Fine, I'll, I'll just put it down here. Writing requirements. That's the main thing that a BA does, okay? There's a lot of other things they do, talk to stakeholders, you know, um, talk to developers, like a bunch of other things. But the main thing is they do 
uh, requirements of documentation, they write requirements, okay? Why do they do that? Well, it's essentially solving a problem, right? On a general level, there's a business problem that a business has, and they need you to solve it by writing the requirements, but we want to get a little bit deeper, right? They do that because the developers need something to instruct them on what to code. So the why is actually going to be so developers, or you can say coders, know what to code. Essentially, right? That's why we write the requirements, so they know what to code. Okay, how does a BA do that? There's different ways. You can write a business requirements document or a BRD. Sometimes they're known as FRDs, functional requirements documents. Sometimes they're even known as FSDs, functional specification document. Or you can write user stories. Again, the differences all depend on methodologies, whether you're um, agile or whether you're waterfall. But again, point is, how do you do it? You write them in certain formats. There are ways to write these documents. There are ways to write user stories. And that is the how. Okay, so it's very important that you obtain the knowledge by asking these questions. Now, again, this is just a surface level. There's so much that goes in here. And I've actually got my courses for you guys. I've got a very high level course for beginners. And then I've got a comprehensive detail walk you through every single step of what, uh, you know, uh, BAs need to know. Um, so you guys can go check out those courses. Uh, they are in the des description limited time that I'm keeping them there. Um, so you guys are gonna wanna grab that because again, I've got all of the information in there uh, in a high level and then also in a very detailed where I walk you through step by step because again, there's so much in here. We're talking methodologies, we're talking SDLC lifecycle. I'm just scratching the surface here of the knowledge you have to obtain as a business analyst. So you gotta understand all of these things, okay, first. And then now we move on to the next step. Now, if you remember the next step, it was obtain experience, okay? So by now, you should have obtained the knowledge of what a business analyst is, what they do, how they do it, why they do it, and everything else in between. Again, I've got training uh, courses. You guys can check them out in the description. And I've got plenty of other videos, tons of videos in my channel. You guys can go check them out as well, okay? Once you do that, now it is time to obtain the experience, okay? And how do you obtain the experience? Well, when I say experience, uh, it doesn't have to be work experience per se. There's other ways to do it, but I'll start with that, okay? Number one thing is, this is maybe for folks that are not in the field or have never been a BA, right? What is uh, something I like to call using transferable skills okay no matter what job it is that you do or are doing you are going to have some skills that you can pull out of that position and apply it as a transferable skill when you're looking to pursue a career as a business analyst so again you could be in a career where you had to do a lot of communication. Well, communication skills are a very, very important part of what a BA needs to have. And so that is what I would consider a transferable skill. If you were in a position where you were doing a lot of problem solving, again, another great transferable skill. So do you see how it doesn't have to be that you had prior BA experience? It just has to be something you can transfer over and say that you can use that experience as a business analyst. Because I guarantee you, guys at least have had some career where even if though it's outside BA, you can pull that in. People usually think, okay, if it's not relevant, I shouldn't even include it. No, if you've got some transferable skills, like the ones I mentioned, and there's plenty more, go ahead and absolutely use that experience. So that's number one, how you obtain experience, because you already try to pull out from what you have, which is those transferable skills, okay? Number two is you go through the a route of you know whether it is if you want to get a degree obviously um you know you can do a master's which is what a lot of people do you know and go forward and get a master's in information technology something like that and information systems a business analyst specialty um you know or obviously even a ba if you don't, don't have that 
or I should say BS, BABS bachelors is, is essentially what I'm trying to write here. So let me erase that. Um, and then we've got certifications, okay? There's so many certifications out there. You can go ahead and grab, you know, um, business analyst certifications, scrum master certifications, product manager certifications. There's a ton out there, okay? Obviously you wanna find ones that are applicable to the BA role, but again, certifications are a great way. Now I would not go like completely overboard with certifications and just get a ton. These are fillers to add on to the experience, not the entire experience, okay? So again, this is why I said, it doesn't have to be a job. It could literally be schooling or certifications or stuff like that. So courses of that nature, again, training for that down below. And then finally, you can go ahead and, and do, you know, internships. You can do entry level positions. Again, the key here is to obtain that experience, right? So again, no job right off the bat is going to be easy. You are going to have to just get your foot in the door. And if this is what it takes to get your foot in the door, then so be it, right? If it's better for your long term, you want to do it the right way. And again, this is the right way. You're going to have to look for entry level positions, internships, stuff like that. But for the most part, we're trying to obtain that experience, okay? And these are all different ways to do it. It doesn't mean you have to go back to school and get another four-year degree. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying get creative with it because if you don't have the experience, you're going to have to find a way to either create it somehow or you're going to have to go ahead and, you know, make it for, for you know, for, for what you need. So again, there's a number of different ways to do it. These are just some of them, but for the most part, this is necessary.